Hello, YouTube. Hello. We are headed to the Lost Canyon and Cave Tour. It is a 2.5 mile go-kart ride in the wilderness, and it's going to be fun. Once you arrive at the main gate, you see the entrance to the Big Cedar Lodge to the left and Top of the Rock to the right. You want to go to the right to go to the golf cart tour and to Top of the Rock, which is shopping, a museum, and food. Once you park, proceed to the Welcome Center, where you can then go on to the Lost Canyon and Cave Tour, which is what we are doing today. Or, you can hop on a free shuttle just outside the doors of the Welcome Center and go to Top of the Rock. You must pay a $10 day-use fee to cover parking and entrance to Top of the Rock. online you will receive a link to complete a liability waiver that must be completed before leaving on the cart. It only takes a couple seconds to finish and saves the trouble instead of having to get out of line to complete it. You have a great day. Oh we are in our heaven everyone. This is it. Must be 18 years old at least to drive. And you have to sign a waiver before you get here. If you do it online, make sure you do it for the appropriate day. I think this is really at night. So there is a trail that starts in the tomorrow, right? <laughs> this tour is a two and a half mile golf cart tour designed by the owner Johnny Morris, who also founded Bass Pro Shops. He designed the route along the property to take advantage of the cave, the rock formations, waterfalls, and views of the lake. In our opinion, it could not have been done any better. It's too funny. We both got a whiff of this wonderful leafy smell. Oh. Prices for this excursion are highly variable and the golf carts are first come, first serve. We highly recommend that you get your tickets online and early to get the best price. The longer you wait, the more expensive it is.
Getting out of the golf cart is encouraged anywhere except inside the cave. They do have pull-offs, like about four of them throughout the park. It has parking where you can just hop out, stretch your legs, look at the beautiful, beautiful scenery around you. And then they have areas where you might just pull over to the side a little bit and let your fellow uh, riders go past you while you take in scenery you may see on your own. It stop long enough for me to offer it up a cashew. No, it's gone. What did you think of that? Look at that. Ah. What did you think of the first waterfall that we just passed? Loved it. Loved it. Yeah, I liked it enough that I did a short mm -hmm. of it because it's just front and back boat. They're beautiful. The Wonderful leaves, nature. The yeah. water, the rocks. The rock see. formations, everything is fantastic. There is nothing like this in my opinion. <laughs> my heart is so happy right now. There are a number of properties in the area that are owned by Johnny Morris. If they are anything at all like this place, you can't miss them. On this property alone, there is this tour, there is an unforgettable golf course, sunset ceremony, complete with a bagpipe player where everyone gathers, the Lost Canyon Cave, waterfalls, a guided trail walk, Ancient Ozarks Natural History Museum, Cathedral of Nature, the shops at Top of the Rock, Pro Shop, and multiple restaurants and a wine bar. We spent the day here, but there is too much for one video. Subscribe so you don't miss the continuation coming soon. <laughs> I wanted to go on that side now. Looks like people have done that. A bat bar menu, okay. Bottle of water. Oh, you gotta get soda. you. Soda. Gin, man. lime, vodka. Oh, here's some more. Johnny Moore steak strips. Yeah, they got. They surely they'll have any. Uh, oh, this is even better. Oh wow. This is the coolest thing I've ever done. <laughs> While you are enjoying this one-of-a-kind attraction, you are also doing good for our world because all proceeds from this attraction go towards nature and wildlife 
conservation through the Johnny Morris Conservation Foundation. So we can get down to the cave, turn your lights on. Uh-huh. And you can pull up to the bat cave at the bat bar, is what it's called, and order a drink. And they have alcoholic, they have water, they have um, nuts, I think. Mm -hmm. They have trail mix, that sort of thing. It's really cool, nice little steak bites. Uh, yeah, nice little stop and diversion. Mm -hmm. And the 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 tunnel is just fascinating mm -hmm. absolutely fascinating it's not long enough it's not I mean they, they only have so much cave but golly that's great and a waterfall a huge waterfall mm -hmm. right in the middle. it's <laughs> like you if you would plan that out you couldn't have done a better job no. designing it I didn't get a picture It's all over. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's getting overcast. Speed up.
closely here on the right, there's a cave that they keep a bear in. And you can get out and go over and look at the bear if you would like. And you can hear it's It's pretty frightening. This we've decided um, it's not clickbait. This is hands down the best thing we've done since leaving our home uh, in early 2022 to live full time in an RV and see the country. This I is our top agree. destination. Oh, yes, absolutely. I know we have so many interests and so many likes and so many things that we are appreciative of. Mm -hmm. But this, hands down, is my happy place. Yep. I love the beach. I love the ocean. But this right here is just, it makes my heart just filled with joy. Yes. Nature is great. And that's the reason that we did it a second time. Um, it's not just a once and done sort of activity in our, in our opinion. <laughs>
So, what do you think of Tom? I... <laughs> cave tour. In particular. The cave tour was beautiful, wonderful. Um, it's I, so I much it. fun, especially... It was a lot of fun. I, I'm just a mechanical person. I got <laughs> With the <hiccups>. <laughs> I'm just a mechanical person. I love driving things. I love the golf cart aspect. Of it. it wasn't Fantastic. big enough. And I've got back problems. Long so, enough. I mean, it, it it certainly is uh, a great way to get around to see this much nature. You get to see yes. a ton of nature. And yes. for the price, I so highly love it. Oh, yeah. Are you talking about the Bat Cave Tour or the, the, the tour? The tour we're on right now. Yeah. And what is it called? Because It's a cave tour. And this is an overlook, and we are way up here in yes. the sky. I'll show you. Greater heights look away. Because we are We're way at least up here. 100 foot up, I think. And if you look over here, you see the Table Rock Lake, I believe is what they yes, called it. It is. Yeah. And it's a fantastic this place. It's breathtaking. There aren't any words to describe how beautiful what about, this is. Right what now. about breathtaking? Would that be or? <laughs> <laughs> But there's no words to further describe it, is what I'm saying. This is all right. And they're adding to it, they're maintaining it, they're doing something with all the equipment around here. Or not. As we make our way back to the corral, I'd like to thank everybody for watching. I want everybody to understand that we recorded this in a 4K um, setting, but it does, does not do justice to what we were seeing with our own eyes. You have got to go here in person. You have got to ride this golf cart. You've got to see the nature that we saw that day.